Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at composite functions where they've made it just a little bit more complex. Uh, a couple of ways they've done it is that they've actually changed this around, it's g f of h, as opposed to in the previous ones we've talked about f g, and usually it's in alphabetical order, but not in this question. Okay, so we have to be really, really careful. The other thing they've asked us to do is also to solve it when it equals to zero. Okay, so let's have a look at this one first. So what we're saying is that the f of x, and remember in the previous video we talked about order, the f of x, in other words, the, the function of x, is 2x minus 2, so that's the output. And then we're gonna take that output and we're gonna plug it into the value of g of x. Okay, so what we end up with is taking 2x minus 2 and then we're going to plug that into this bit here which is going to be squared. So that's going to be squared and we're going to minus 4. And when we put those outputs together we're going to end up with the g f of x. Okay, so just be very, very careful on the order on this. And in the next video, I'm going to swap this the other way around and you'll see the effect it has on the calculation. You'll still get marks in the exam, but if you can get it like this and make sure that you apply it the right way around, it's going to make a lot of difference to your end result. These are high level questions. Okay, so let's just work through that. So I've got 2x minus 2 squared is going to be that and that's going to be minus 4 at the end. OK, I'm going to multiply that out. Now, 2x times 2x. I'll do this fairly quickly because hopefully you're OK with multiplying out double bracketed terms. So I've got 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Minus 4x minus 4x is going to be minus 8x, and that's going to be uh, plus 4 and minus 4 at the end. OK, so that's going to work out that the g f of x is going to be 4x squared minus 8x, and that answers the first part of the question. Okay, so to solve it, it's when, um, so if we're going to solve it, it's when 0 equals 4x squared minus 8x. So the way to do that would be to factorise it, and what we're going to do is we're going to take out uh, if I just check my notes here, we can take out 4x from both of those, so it's 4x, and that's going to give us um, x minus 2. Okay, and when that equals 0. So if I look at 4x equals 0, it means that x is going to be equal to 0, because 4 lots of 0, 0. Okay, and then x minus 2 equals 0, so therefore x must equal positive 2 and that will solve this particular equation. If you're not sure about how to solve that, there are playlists on factorization and working through getting values of x. Okay, so the take homes from this is you need to make sure that you do do it in the correct order. And in the next video, I'm gonna use exactly the same equation, but I'm going to swap them the other way around and make it fg of x, and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. It's quite different. Okay, I hope that's been all right for you. Please do add a comment comment below, always come back to you, like, subscribe to the channel, I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.